Now don't get too rambunctious when you do this. You know, here's my cord and I'm going to kind of angle it on over this way. And I can reach that up there in the ceiling later. Okay, I'm going to face this this way because this is going to go up like that. Right? Like that. Okay. I want these pushed down. These were the tabs. Cut in tabs. I'm going to kind of remember how I had that. Wiggle it up there. Ooh. Okay. Looks like it was hitting the sheetrock just barely. Everything so far so good. And if you can't get it up there all the way, you can always lower it back down and trim the hole a little bit. Now, there's a little friction pad on the outside before I pushed it up and man, it's up in there. Okay, so now I've got those tabs, remember? Got the tab, and I'll show you quickly again, close up on those tabs. But now I'm gonna push that, I'm gonna push it hard down, and that kinda wedges down on top of the sheetrock. Okay? And that's what holds it. It's like that. All right, there it is, easy greasy. And whenever I come across something that's not to my satisfaction, I'm going to show you. Now those tabs, there's a definite little notch and position when you want to push that. You push these tabs in all the way and they weren't snapping and all I can think of is each ceiling, you know, some of your ceilings are designed for half inch, some are five eighths, but either way, this one's not snapping all the way. And I'm not happy with it. So I'm going to kind of finagle it down here, back out of the hole without messing it up. Okay, I can re-look at that. I know that's straight right there. Okay, so when these tabs come down and I push it on the inside, there's a definite little groove it fits in and then that can't push back up. If you don't get it on that groove, you're pushing and if it doesn't snap, this could push right back up. When you got your trim, it could have a tendency to loosen up later on and all of a sudden your, your nice trim pieces aren't up tight to the ceiling. So, you take this, you just bend it out just ever so little, okay? On whichever ones are not snapping, bend it out just a little bit, okay? Now I can try it again. Just push these in like that. I'm going to look at that. I wanted that fitting straight that way because the joists are going this way. I don't want to have this tweak too much because I want to get to the, if anybody has to get to the wires later, they can. Okay, so I'm going to push that back up in the hole. Like that. Wedge it, wedge it back up there. Let's see here. I guess you got to hold your mouth just right when you're doing that. This is just a socket. I'll have to figure out how to snap that up in there. There's a There'll be a little bracket that I have to push that in or such. And it's, I think it's all the way up at the top. I probably should have read the directions on that. Okay, now I can push these in. And that one's fitting tight. I can feel it go in. Make sure you're pushed up tight. That one's in. That one's in. I think. Yeah, there. Feel a definite little notch there. Oh, man, this one's giving me fits. There. Oh, I just felt it go in. And that one. And that one. There. Wow. Man, 
supposed to up there. So, you know, if you got to tweak them a little bit, do what you got to do to get it tight. Okay? That's your next step. Whew.